Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Cognizant then you must know the cutoff because if you know the cutoff then it will be very much easier to understand and crack the Cognizant technical assessment. As we got feedback from students, they had told that they have performed well in the aptitude sections and gaming sections, then they had performed well in the MCQ part and at least one coding question they had solved from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL or the normal coding questions. So if you perform this much, then A will be moved to the next round. So let me just discuss one of the most important coding questions they had asked recently, which can be repeated in your case. Okay. So let me just share the question. Just before that, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed and like this video and comment down which content do you want more if you want me to upload more coding questions or interview sections or anything then let me know i'll give more importance to that comment okay hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so this is the recent question actually i didn't get the full question i'm going to share the all objectives just to wait and watch this video till the end i'm going to share that what is the task that is let's say this is the screen and if you click on this button then it should be switched it, it should be toggled to light or dark if it is in dark then toggle to light and if it is already in light mode then you have to change this to dark mode okay and the number of uh, changes also should be reflected here as like uh, if you click here twice then the number of changes should be two here okay so these are the two tasks you have to maintain now let me share what are the tasks that is uh, from html the task is add one id add one id inside the button tag okay this is the real task i'm giving you and these are the this these are the type of task you will get in your exam as well so if you are watching and if you don't know anything about html css javascript then please refer to any youtube video where they are discussing about basic html css javascript so please at least try to understand about html css you will get to know about the task which i'm going to share which they are uh, like asking you can solve those problems okay so this is the task that is add one id inside the button tag in html and in css file add one color or add one background color to the theme or to some button etc etc okay so these are the two tasks you have to maintain nothing else so just tag that class or tag that uh, id and give the color or give the background color as they have mentioned like let's say has scored this 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 is so you have to just add this if you have basic knowledge in html css then you got it right if you don't have then please refer to any youtube video at uh, like at youtube there you can find html css course and please go through one or two hours course you can get it okay now the task in javascript is you have to increase the count of hit uh, count of click at this button okay if i click on this button then it should be increased to one if i click twice then it should be increased to two so it this way you have to make this function inside javascript and you have to also toggle the color the theme in between light and dark whenever the user click on this button okay so let me share the real sample input output so that you get it right so if the user is uh, clicking on this button then at as of now it is in light mode right light theme now if i click then the count of hit count of click in this button changed to this so it is now one and the theme is currently dark mode okay if user click on this again then it will be toggled to light mode and the number of click on this button is now two okay so this is the task as much as you click the uh, the count will be increased and the light like theme will be also toggled between light and dark okay i hope you understood this is the task you have to do now let me share the question let me share the answer so that you get it just before that i want you to know about basic things that is 
from html that one task you have right so you will get 25 percent and from css you have one task one objective you get 25 percent and from js you have one task you have to solve that fully you will get 50 percent of the mass total assigned to this subject this sections okay i hope you know and total 20 to 25 percent cutoff is uh, like only relying on html css javascript code okay i hope you understood in these days tcs accenture Co uh, cognizant capgemini ltm entry by tusa delta x and also ltm entry wipro etc etc are hiring infos is also hiring so please refer these materials because these are the most trusted materials by more than 2000 people have trusted these materials and got their placement job at these mncs okay so i hope you will refer this so the link is given in the description box please go through that it will be very much helpful for you okay now this is the task let me just share the html code as first now many people ask me how much code we have to write right so basically from doc type and from body to the body button bo uh, body tag you don't have to write all the code all the lines what you have to just write so all the lines are written for you what's the task that is just include these things nothing else so let me just uh, remove that so these are all already written for you you don't have to do anything just what's the task in html in html just include this like these things id is equal to theme button inside the button tag okay nothing else you have only this task okay i hope you understood and you have to include the style.css and script.js file inside the html tag okay html page okay i hope you understood now let me discuss the style.css file so this is the file uh, here what's the task the task is very simple all the codes are written now let me just show important thing i'm just removing these lines so these are all already written for you okay nothing you don't have to do anything these are all already written just what you have to do here target the class target the class dark okay and just change the background color and as they have provided so this has code will be provided to you you just have to include this background color or the color here okay nothing else so these are all already written populated already okay so let me discuss if you have any confusion still let me know in the comment sections so the best and most important part in html css javascript is this part so you have to know about this so what's the task basically the task is you have to toggle between dark and light theme and you have to increase the count of click on the button okay most probably these lines will be written for you if not then also it's fine so just target the button and get the access of those buttons okay so theme button is the button you have to target that okay and the counter which will be holding that count of click so just write document dot get element by id and this is the id provided at html page right so here we have already given this button id uh, i mean theme button id and count id in paragraph in button right so we are just targeting these fields and holding that inside a uh, variable okay now we'll do something we'll manipulate this uh, after writing the event listener so all the task includes inside the event listener whenever the user will click on the button on the button like where here okay whenever the user will click on this button what will happen a button so we are just manipulating these buttons if click if user clicking on the button that means adding event listener if the user is clicking then do this document dot body dot class list dot toggle dark what's this line is doing that is at first we are targeting whole body tag so this is the body tag right if i change the color of body then all the color will be shifted right so we have to target this body right now 
document dot body dot class list so this class list actually accessing all the classes inside the body okay and this helps us to change the body color to dark if it is already dark then it will just ignore if it is not dark then it will be changed to dark okay so this way it is working now the whenever user will click on the button then this event will be triggered so as soon as the event triggered the count will also be increased okay if the count is increased so as far as at first we had already initialized the count as zero so if it is increased we have to we have to insert that value inside the html page so how to insert that value using text content we have to insert that value so counter this is the uh, variable we have already got access right inside the count so counter dot text content is equal to theme changes and using this we are just inserting the count nothing else so this is the dynamic value it will keep changing accordingly okay now here we have just written if it is already in dark mode then do this okay if it is not in dark mode then do this what's that just change the uh, light mode button this is the emoji which we are going to insert when it is in light mode and it, if it is in dark mode then insert this uh, this emoji okay and what like what text content do that is inside the button inside this button variable they will just uh, insert this value okay nothing else so let me just uh, populate this file okay so yeah so this is the code this is the output of the code if i just click on it then it will be changed to a dark mode and the count is increased and the this also changed okay if i click on it then it is now toggled to light mode and the count is increased and again i click so you can see that count is increasing and this is also changed the color is also changed so this is the thing you just had to do guys please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends.